Well, uh, as our Prime Minister has, uh, has, has made clear, the, the, uh, the British people have, have voted, have given their, their opinion, and that now um, is going to be respected. So uh, Britain uh, will be negotiating to leave the European Union. Um, as we say, Brexit means Brexit. Um, but it's also important uh, to note that um, it doesn't mean that Britain is leaving Europe. Uh, we will be continuing uh, to, to have the, the closest possible uh, relations, economic as well as political and in other fields with our uh, European partners. Uh, we, will also, uh, we will also be uh, uh, looking to, to build on our already very substantial relations with, uh, with our close partners, for example in, uh, uh, in North America, uh, in the Commonwealth uh, and here in the Gulf with, uh, with the countries of the GCC with whom we already have uh, such an important relationship um, and as the UK moves uh, outside of the European Union we'll be looking to build on those relationships more and more. Uh, the Prime Minister has made very clear that this is not Britain shrinking, this is Britain acting with energy and, uh, and self-confidence uh, and being outward looking uh, as we engage with our partners around the world. Um, the Prime Minister has made clear that this was a once-in-a-generation vote. Um, the people have voted, uh, and the vote is to, is to leave the European Union, and that will be respected. Um, uh, the people of Scotland voted in an independence referendum uh, in 2014, uh, and there was a, a clear decision to remain within uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, and the, the British and Scottish governments uh, are, are committed to respecting that vote. Um, it, you could argue that, that, that the, uh, the arguments in favour of staying in the, in the United Kingdom are even stronger now than they were 18 months ago when that vote took place. Well, it's, uh, it's going to take a little while. Um, uh, the Prime Minister will decide uh, when to trigger Article 50, as it's called, of the, of the Treaty uh, on European Union, the Lisbon Treaty, uh, which will signal the start of the formal negotiating process. Uh, whereby the, the arrangements for Britain leaving the European Union will be decided. Uh, that, process, that negotiating process could easily take two years. Uh, uh, and uh, we don't know all of the arrangements that will come out of that, um, but uh, Britain uh, and our European partners are going into those uh, negotiations uh, with an entirely positive frame of mind. And in the meantime, as I've said, we'll be looking to, uh, to build on our already very substantial uh, relationships with our partners elsewhere around the world uh, as we look to uh, take uh, advantage of all of the opportunities we have for developing our trade, investment and other relationships uh, with other countries, uh, including here in the Gulf, most importantly, as far as I'm concerned. Well, we hope, um, I mean, we already hoped before uh, this vote uh, that we would see a continuing increase in our, in our trade and uh, investment relations, which are, which are already powering ahead in a very, very positive way. Uh, we see uh, opportunities for further building on this, and I'm delighted uh, to say that even in the period since the, the referendum, uh, we've had a, a couple of really sparkling uh, announcements which show how our economic and trade relationship is developing with uh, uh, the announcement of the construction of a new British College of Bahrain with uh, par Bahraini partners together with uh, the University of Salford uh, are looking to create uh, a new higher education institution here in Bahrain that will be delivering the best quality British uh, degrees uh, delivered by the University of Salford. Uh, uh, and this is um, something that we have been looking to, 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 to achieve for some time and it's absolutely wonderful news that it's happening now. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky enough to be at the Farnborough Air Show uh, a couple of weeks ago for the signing of a, a, a contract between Gulf Air and, and Rolls-Royce mm -hmm. under which Rolls-Royce will be supplying engines for the new uh, wide-body Dreamliners that the Gulf Air will be flying to London, indeed uh, to London more than to any other uh, long-haul destination. Um, a contract uh, that I believe is going to be worth something over $900 million uh, over a 10-year period. It's a sign of just how vibrant that relationship is. Um, uh, and our determination is to ensure that the changes that take place as a result of our uh, departure from the European Union can only help us to build on that strength. Well, um, uh, we have always sought new trade partners. The difference is that uh, as part of the European Union, um, we did so as a group of 28, which had its uh, strengths, but also uh, it uh, ensured that we were one of 28. 
um, with with our eventual departure from uh, the European Union, we will we will have the freedom to to, to build our trade relationships on a more bilateral basis, and um, uh, and that certainly uh, includes the countries uh, of the GCC, uh, with whom, as I say, we already have very close relationships built on our huge history. Uh, I'm delighted to be uh, to be in the middle of our 200th anniversary celebrations of our formal relationship between Britain and Bahrain. And so, yes, we, uh, uh, we uh, in a very positive, outward-looking way, uh, are determined to, uh, uh, to, to really make the most out of these wonderfully deep relationships that we already have, particularly here in the Gulf. Well, um, t uh, it, to begin with, the answer is just a straight no. Um, um, but uh, in the longer term, as our negotiations on, on, on the modalities of, of, of Britain's exit from the European Union uh, go ahead, the, may, the, 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 the most impact is likely to be on uh, EU nationals uh, living and working in the UK and UK nationals living and working elsewhere in the European Union. Um, uh, and so, uh, although we very much hope that the, that, the, that the rights and the position of EU nationals currently in the UK and UK nationals elsewhere in the European Union uh, will be preserved as they are, uh, that can't be assured. Um, the impact on non-EU nationals um, is likely to be much less, and uh, we, I, I can't predict with complete certainty, but uh, uh, I see no reason at all to think that, uh, for example, Bahraini and other uh, GCC nationals uh, will see any any negative difference. Indeed, we continue we continue to hope to attract all of the you know of, of the best uh, visitors uh, to, to to for tourism, but also for for uh, for conducting business, for investing, studying in, uh, in the UK from Bahrain and elsewhere in the region. Well, it's such an important part of our uh, of our overall relationship. Um, the, the large numbers of Bahraini and other Gulf students that we have at our, uh, our universities uh, are not only uh, uh, bringing uh, very, Im very important and valuable business to the UK, they enrich our entire student community and, uh, and provide links going forward as, as, as the students who have studied in the UK come back uh, to, to build their lives and businesses here. Um, uh, and indeed, as I mentioned, uh, this new uh, Salford University uh, uh, program uh, is going to add a new dimension to that, which we're really excited about. Um, uh, we will continue um, to want to attract the very best uh, students in exactly the way as we do now. Our departure from the European Union should have no impact on that, and indeed we will continue um, to, uh, to want to, to uh, ensure uh, that we offer the best opportunities uh, for our uh, friends in, uh, in Bahrain and more widely in the Gulf um, uh, to study and thrive in the UK. Well, as, as I touched on, um, uh, we think that the, the, the area that is, is, is most likely to be affected by the, 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 uh, the, the exit negotiations uh, will be for British nationals living and working in other, other EU countries and for EU nationals in, uh, in, in Britain. Um, and as I say, we hope that that will not be affected too badly, but that's, that is going to be the, the focus of part of the negotiations. Um, for other uh, expatriates uh, in the UK, for investors in the UK, for regular visitors to the UK, um, they should see no early uh, impact at all. Uh, yes, that's another important uh, element uh, of, the, of the negotiations which will start when the Prime Minister uh, triggers Article 50. Um, we very much hope that the UK will, uh, will continue to have the closest possible relations with our uh, European partners uh, and to, uh, to uh, benefit from the, uh, the, uh, the single market uh, as far as is possible. Um, our relationship with uh, our European neighbours uh, is far too important and far too long-standing and far too deep uh, for us to, to, to imagine anything else. Um, um, but there will be opportunities for the UK outside of the European Union uh, to look at ways in which we can enhance our economic relationship with countries um, elsewhere. Um, uh, as I say, there are, there are a number of uh, traditional partners uh, that the UK has. 
that we've managed to keep a very close bilateral relationship with from within uh, the European Union, but that relationship may, may be uh, able to expand and, and uh, to enrich uh, uh, once we're outside the European Union, and that of course applies uh, as much to our, uh, our friends in the Gulf uh, as anywhere else. The, um, uh, the markets took um, uh, a short while to, uh, to, to absorb the, uh, uh, the result. The stock market dipped briefly, but uh, is trading very strongly now. Um, and um, uh, it's a sure sign, as we've seen from uh, the, uh, the speeches of the, uh, the Governor of the Bank of England and, the, and uh, our Chancellor of the Exchequer, that, that, uh, that Britain is in a very robust economic uh, place. Um, the, the measures, the reforms that have been brought in, particularly in the financial markets, to, uh, to absorb uh, uh, shocks um, uh, after the, the economic downturn in 2008-9 um, um, are such that uh, we feel that our economy and our financial system is much more robust and indeed able to, to, to absorb much greater shocks than we've seen uh, with this vote. Um, the value of the pound has, uh, has fallen somewhat, it's trading rather lower uh, than before the vote uh, and we'll have to see where, where it ends up, uh, whether it finds its, uh, where it finds its natural level. Um, but uh, it uh, currently um, means that Britain is the most wonderful place to visit as a tourist or to invest. Uh, um, certainly in, uh, in my lifetime, um, the, uh, the value of the pound is at a level where you could um, uh, hardly imagine anything nicer than a visit to London in the, in the summer. Uh, nobody knows exactly what the, 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 the long-term uh, economic impact will be. Um, the most recent uh, output figures from, uh, from the UK economy um, show that uh, it's still growing healthily. Um, uh, we all wait to see exactly how the, uh, the the, the, the new arrangements uh, fall into place. But uh, as I've said, we, we are very happy with the, with the position e uh, the UK is in economically. Um, we've, uh, we've experienced solid growth um, over the last uh, few years since the recovery from the global uh, recession. We've got the highest level of employment ever in the United Kingdom at the moment. Uh, real wages are rising. Um, our um, budget deficit, which hit a record uh, in the middle of that global downturn, has been reduced by two-thirds. Uh, and um, the, uh, the measures that the Bank of England has put in place to ensure the robustness of our banking system um, mean that we've, our major banks have got ten times the reserves that they had before the downturn. Uh, and so that we're in a very strong place. Um, we're the fifth largest economy in the world. Uh, we will continue to be a permanent member of the UN Security Council, of OECD, uh, NATO, the Commonwealth, the G7, the G20, and it gives us a great platform um, from which to continue to, to uh, promote the, uh, the, the unique um, uh, strengths of the British economy. Well, uh, as I say, the, the, the measures that the, the Bank of England have taken since, uh, since the downturn uh, particularly by way of ensuring the, the stability of our finance sector uh, means that uh, the, the, there should not be any, uh, uh, any long-term, uh, uh, we, we wouldn't envisage any long-term uh, impact in this area. Well, thank you for giving me the chance. Um, uh, I mean, I have been really moved in, in my first year here in, in, in Bahrain uh, by just the level of warmth and, uh, and understanding there is of the UK from, from our Bahraini hosts um, and of course the huge pride in Britain from the very, very large numbers of British expats who, who live here, um, many of whom actually have lived here for more than 15 years and didn't have a vote, but it's a sign of just how, how much part of the Bahraini uh, community and Bahraini society the British are. Uh, and I would say that we will continue to be uh, a proud and outward-looking uh, country uh, um, and we will continue to, uh, to, to be open and to wanting to uh, build our uh, economic and other relationships with other countries uh, around the world. Britain is not leaving Europe, Britain uh, is leaving the European Union uh, and our place in the world uh, is, is an important one and we will continue to uh, we will continue to 
uh, to use our, our, our position uh, in, a, in a positive way as a force for good, uh, for um, economic liberalization, uh, for the rules-based international system, uh, for trying to uh, ensure uh, peace and security. Uh, uh, and although our relationship with our uh, EU partners will change, um, uh, our outlook will not.